If you like betting MLB totals, you've come to the right place. I've got five more free MLB winners for you today, and three of those are totals. As a reminder, you can always comment down below with any questions or thoughts you have for these selections on Tuesday. Number one, we're starting off Cleveland Guardians team total over four and a half versus the Kansas City Royals. Incredibly, guys, going back to last season, the Guardians are now 1-15 in in doubleheader games. So after they were swept by the Royals on Monday, we want to find a way to back them tonight. They're still a good home team. I don't necessarily trust starter Gavin Williams, though, or a Guardians bullpen. Usually great, best in the business, but that bullpen saw heavy usage in the two games yesterday. But I do trust the Guardians' bats to break out tonight. Royal starter Michael Lorenzen, 4.70 expected ERA, 4.99 expected FIP. Not to mention a 1.50 whip his last three outings. And that Royals bullpen, not as tired as the Cleveland counterparts coming into today, but it's still bottom seven in ERA this season. Between Lorenzen and the Royals pen, the Guardians will find a way to go over four and a half runs on Tuesday. By the way, I've got to mention, these free plays you're getting on the Power Five, now 23-10-3 over the last eight days. I went 2-1 and one on the show yesterday, which actually dipped our win percentage over that time, believe it or not. Cashed in La Liga. Had to settle for a split with our MLB totals. 1-1, uh, one, one, lost one. A third was no action due to a pitching change. Also gave you a free college football winner. For this Saturday, you can go re back and re-watch Monday's show in the archives here on the Wager Talk YouTube channel. All right, back to today's Power 5. Play number two, Astros-Phillies over 8.5. This one hurts to talk about, obviously, because my $5 customer appreciation play yesterday at wagertalk.com was the over in Astros-Phillies. Did not hit, obviously. Ronel Blanco, he was simply much better than I expected uh, for the Astros. But tonight, I'm doubling down. Phillies, they average 5.28 runs per game at home. It's number two overall. Houston has a solid lineup as well. I don't think either Justin Verlander, who's making his second start back from the IL, or Aaron Nola, who has a 1.64 whip his last three starts, are what they once were. And we've got tired bullpens. Nine relievers total used last night, and neither of these two clubs have had an off day in more than a week. Over eight and a half. It is for me. Like Cleveland, Boston was swept in a doubleheader at home on Monday. My third play for today's Power 5 will be to back the Red Sox money line, which is currently around minus 145 uh, against the Toronto Blue Jays. The Red Sox, they've long lost five in a row at Fenway, going back to the weekend series against Arizona, which has all but killed their playoff hopes. But not like the Blue Jays are a highly motivated ball club either. What the Jays do have Tuesday, not necessarily motivation, but they have Yariel Rodriguez on the mound, and that's not good because in Rodriguez's last seven starts, Toronto is 0-7. Rodriguez has posted a 5.75 ERA the last five starts. I know Criswell, Cooper Criswell, the starter tonight for the Red Sox, he can be shaky as well, but the team's 3-0 his last three starts. I like the home team in this one. By the way, if you've been enjoying all the free winners I've been giving out here on the Power 5 or just want to show your support for the show, feel free to go ahead now and smash that like button. I like, uh, I think you're going to like, I should say, our fourth play on the Power 5 today as over 11 in Marlins Rockies looks good to me. That's a big total, but it's Coors Field. And unlike last night's series opener, which the Rockies won 3-2, we've got two terrible starters on the mound uh, on Tuesday. Rodery Munoz has been atrocious for Miami. 7.08 ERA his last five starts. Opposing team has scored at least seven runs each of the last four Munoz starts. Meanwhile, Cal Quantrill for Colorado, also very bad. 6.38 ERA his last five starts. In four of his last six starts, the Rockies opponent has scored at least seven runs. Can't forget about a Rockies bullpen. It's got the worst ERA in all of baseball either. Expect fireworks in this one. Marlins Rockies over 11. Guys, before we get to our final free winner for today, I got to let you know about a brand new special offer going on at wagertalk.com. As you can get a free week of football winners for a limited time. I mean, how about that? Free week? Uh, for a limited time, we're going to be offering a 14 day all access pass for just $198. Now, not only that, but when you buy the 14 day all access, 
we're going to throw in a third week of service absolutely free of charge. So you get every football play from myself for the next three weeks. As a reminder, I ended the college football season last year on a red-hot 19-8 and run. Had Michigan as a 5% play against Alabama, my biggest play of the year. Also had Michigan against Washington in the championship game. Uh, in the NFL, not only did I sweep my Super Bowl selections, but I started the season with a 3-0 and uh, sweep on the first Sunday uh, back in week one. So head on over to wt.buzz slash bp to get your free week of football winners. No coupon code is needed. Not only do you get the football winners when you buy, but you get soccer and MLB as well. Speaking of MLB, I'm going to close out Tuesday's Power 5 with a late game for you. Not going to make you stay up late, though, because we're going to bet the Mets in the first five innings against the Diamondbacks. Sean Manea starting for the Mets. It's been pretty great of late, quite frankly. Three earned runs or fewer allowed in six consecutive outings, as well as nine of his last ten. Mets are 8-2. and two. Last 10 times Manea started. That's good. Now the D-backs, they're 3-0 and oh and Eduardo Rodriguez starts since he came uh, off the IL. But two of those wins came at the expense of Miami and Colorado. It doesn't really impress me. I think the Mets have the early edge here. So I'll back them. First five money line should be around minus 105. Let us now recap the Power 5 for today. Shall we? In case if you missed or forgot anything. Number one, Cleveland Guardians team total over four and a half versus the Kansas City Royals. Number two, Astros Phillies over eight and a half. Number three, Red Sox money line minus 145 against the Blue Jays. Number four, over 11 in Marlins Rockies. Number five, Mets first five money line should be around minus 105. You can let me know what you think of those selections by commenting down below. Again, if you already haven't done so, smash that like button. I'd really appreciate that. And if you're not already subscribed to the Wager Talk YouTube channel, let's fix that right now. You click the bell, you get instant alerts when all of your favorite shows drop. Talk about your favorite shows. Not only am I doing the Power 5 daily, but you can't forget about the Morning Wager with myself and Mark Zeno every Monday through Friday where we give you three free winners and lots of laughs as well. So that's going to do it for the Power 5 here on Tuesday. Hope you enjoyed it. Once again, you can find my picks, wt.buzz slash bp. Already have one up. Uh, in MLB for Tuesday that you didn't get here. You can find me on X at Brian Power underscore wins. And until next time, let's catch some tickets.